while we would never want a hurricane to affect us again, could that be a solution to the red tide crisis? As we wrap up our series Irma Plus One, we take a look at what's worse, hurricanes or red tide. Day after day, pictures of dead fish and nasty looking beaches cover our TV screens. We saw hundreds of fish just washed up. Many businesses near Sun Coast beaches hit hard because of red tide, losing income, some even their business. We experienced slow season red tide, but this red tide is like, it's like a bomb went off, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's horrible. The effects of a hurricane and red tide leave long lasting devastation. So I asked psychologist Dr. Eddie Renier, which is worse? You know, it's a little bit like asking which, which hurts more, a punch or a cut. Uh, I think they're both bad. Emergency Management Chief Ed McCrane says while a hurricane and red tide bring different challenges, a hurricane causes more destruction. It impacts hundreds of thousands of people. So I think a hurricane is a bigger impact. Red tide is, uh, is unfortunate. It's a nuisance. It does affect the economy and the, and the community. Uh, but... <laughs> It's not as life-threatening as a hurricane can be. We are still in the peak of hurricane season, but there is no active threat to Florida. In regards to red tide, Dr. Renier says all we can do is wait. Red tide will go away eventually, uh, and it will leave behind it some, some damage. Um, and this is when maybe we should have faith, we should, we should, uh, we should pray and work with each other, uh, to uh, help each other out to overcome the trauma as well, loss of, of income 